Between the just released Techno Carmon 30 Pro 5G and the Infinix Note 40 Pro, which you buy, well, this video will be answering just that question. And you might want to watch at the end because there is a clear winner. And with that being said, okay guys, let's get started. The unboxing experience of both devices is really good. Transition really goes all out when it comes to packaging. I mean, the Techno Carmon 30 Pro 5G comes with wireless earbuds. Tell me one company that does that. It also comes with a screen protector, plastic case and 70 watt fast charging brick while the Infinix Note 40 Pro doubles down on that as well as it comes with wired earphones, a plastic case, a 70 watt fast charging brick as well and a wireless charger. So in terms of accessories, you are not missing out on anything. Build quality is alright on both phones, they are solid. Both phones having a plastic frame, the Techno Camon 30 Pro having a glass back and the Infinix Note 40 Pro having a plastic back. However, the Infinix Note 40 Pro has an IP53 dust and splash resistance rating which the Techno doesn't have. But that doesn't mean you should go out swimming with these devices. They might survive it but you know, you really don't want to end up telling stories that touch. In terms of design, that is subjective. However, I think I prefer the design of the Techno Camon 30 Pro more. But hey, that's just me. Also, there is this halo lighting feature at the rear of the Infinix Note 40 Pro. It activates when you activate the voice assistant and some other stuff and it can also be customized. You also get a red LED light on the Techno Camon 30 Pro that activates when recording a video. It's the little things. A feature we all weren't expecting is the addition of an IR blaster. Both smartphones come equipped with IR blasters which is really good when controlling appliances that uses infrared sensors. We really need to see more of this on other smartphone brands apart from Xiaomi and Redmi. The speakers on the Techno Camon 30 Pro are stereo and Dolby Atmos certified while the ones on Infinix are tuned by JBL. In short, both devices provide fantastic sound while viewing content. On that note, we get a 6.78 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 1080 by 2436 pixels on the Techno Camon 30 Pro with support for 144Hz refresh rate with sadly no Corning Gorilla Glass protection. While the Infinix Note 40 Pro supports a 6.78 inch curved AMOLED display with a resolution of 1080 by 2436 pixels as well with a 120Hz refresh rate and a protection of Corning Gorilla Glass. It is not specified by Infinix which Corning Gorilla Glass version they are using but if I am to guess, it's probably Corning Gorilla Glass 3 as it is the cheaper one. And when it comes to actually viewing content, both displays are pretty much identical. The Techno Camon 30 Pro having a slight edge due to its 144Hz refresh rate compared to a 120Hz refresh rate on the Infinix Note 40 Pro. Then again, the Infinix Note 40 Pro has a curved display, which can be more appealing to look at. The Techno Camon 30 Pro is powered by a powerful MediaTek chipset, the MediaTek Dimensity 8200 chipset with 12GB of RAM and 512GB of storage which isn't expandable using a memory card. And on the other hand, the Infinix Note 40 Pro is powered by a MediaTek Helio G99 Ultimate chipset with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. In terms of performance, the MediaTek Dimensity 8200 is definitely more powerful compared to the G99 Ultimate. It's probably even unfair to compare their gaming performance, but when it comes to just day-to-day -day activities, you might not really notice the difference. Software is generally not a strong point of transition devices, but thankfully both devices are running on Android 14 with HIOS 14 on the Techno and XOS 14 on the Infinix. Feature-wise, they are pretty much identical, both having pretty much identical features with different names. We should be getting two years of software updates, which is pretty cool. I mean, that's Android 16 guaranteed. Now, when it comes to cameras, well, the same megapixels isn't everything applies here. As the Techno Camon 30 Pro has a 50 megapixel main camera, a 50 megapixel ultra wide, and 2 megapixel depth, while the Infinix has a 108 megapixel main, 2 megapixel macro, and 2 megapixel depth. Both devices having a 32 megapixel selfie camera. At a glance, one would say the 108 megapixel main camera of the Infinix is better, but it is not. The Techno Camon 30 Pro offers superior camera quality from all cameras when compared to the Infinix Note 40 Pro. It can also shoot a higher 4K 60 frames per second compared to 2K 30 frames per second on the Infinix Note 40 Pro. Powering the Techno Camon 30 Pro is a 5000 mAh battery capable of lasting you through the entire day, which 
is the same for the Infinix Note 40 Pro. Both devices also charge at 70 watts, which is amazing, but the Infinix Note 40 Pro takes it further. It supports 20 watts wireless charging and also reverse wireless charging, which is just rare for devices in its class. Securing both devices is an honor display optical fingerprint scanner, which is fast and accurate. The less secure face unlock is also available for those who use it. Alright, which should you buy? Well, obviously the Techno K130 Pro 5G is a better device. I mean it is more expensive. It is about 540,000 Naira compared to about 396,000 Naira that the Infinix Note 40 Pro goes for. But I would say it definitely makes more sense to go for the Infinix as it puts up a good fight and only loses out when it comes to camera and performance. So if you don't really care about that, then the Infinix might just be the one to get. And if you are trying to, you know, look for the one to go for between these devices and you are on a tight budget, then the Infinix is probably the one to go for. Now, if you have more money to spend, then you know it's a no-brainer. Go for the Techno Camon. 30 pro 5g it's a better device you'll be getting the performance upgrade and the camera upgrade but then again let me know your own thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and like this video let's get to 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next one peace